Cruz Center, welcome back to Fox News Sunday. Good morning, Shannon. Good to be with you. Okay, so you heard a lot of Peters reporting what the president had to say overnight there early, late in Japan, early here. Um, one of these ideas that he says um, MAGA Republicans will let the economy suffer serious damage because then he'll just take the blame and not get reelected. Uh, that's a pretty serious allegation to make against Republicans. Yeah. You know, it really is unfortunate to see how Joe Biden is approaching this job. It's all politics all the time, and he consistently goes to the hard left. He's off in Hiroshima right now in Japan. He should be in Washington, D.C. He should be sitting down and working out a deal, working out a compromise. The House of Representatives did its job weeks ago. It passed legislation raising the debt ceiling, and it, and it passed responsible legislation that makes real steps to rein in the out-of-control spending. And unfortunately, Joe Biden Biden has handed his entire agenda over to the radical left, to the Bernie Sanders and the AOCs of the world, and his view is that he's willing to tank the economy because he's unwilling to give even a penny in the trillions in new spending that, that have caused the inflation that's hurting Americans all across the country. It, it, it's a blatantly unreasonable position, but yet he nonetheless smiles and just, just blames the other side. Well, is it fair to, you know, he raised eyebrows by saying Republicans would let the economy default damage um, because they don't want to get him real him to get reelected. But fair for you to say that he's willing to tank the economy. Yes, uh, it, it is because there's one person on planet Earth with the power to ensure that we don't have a default. And, and you just played him a moment ago. His name is Joseph Robinette Biden, Jr. A responsible president would have stood up at that press conference and said, understand and hear me now the united states of america will never ever ever default on our debts we will pay the interest of our debts the president can say that why can he say that he can say that because every month revenue from federal taxes exceeds the interest on the debt he could take default off the table Joe Biden doesn't want to take default off the table. Why? Because he wants to scaremonger. He wants to scare people into saying, look. Biden wild goose chase by Cruz accusing Democrats for, as he put it, and I quote, wild spending binge, notwithstanding Trump upsurges. Senator Ted Cruz on Sunday criticized Democrats for embarking on a wild spending binge after reclaiming power of the White House and Congress in lieu of preceding expenditure surges under ex-President Trump. Cruz said on Fox News this Sunday and I quote, it's irresponsible, what we are doing to the next generations. To give you an order of magnitude, in 2017, total government spending was about $4 trillion. He added and I quote fast forward to today, total government spending has gone from $4 trillion all the way up to nearly $7 trillion. We've nearly doubled government spending since 2017. What have tax revenues done? They've gone from $3.3 trillion to right about $5 trillion, Cruz reiterated. And I quote, so, we're taking in a lot more taxes, but they can't keep up with the Democrats' wild spending binge. Regarding statistics from the Treasury Department, the administration's overall expenditure for financial year 2017 was $4.79 trillion. Expending stayed comparatively stable under the Trump government until 2020, when it leapt to $7.47 trillion. Expenditure in 2021 was on equivalence with the previous year, at $7.38 trillion, before declining to $6.27 trillion in 2022, in reference to the Treasury Department. I quote Cruz and it reads, During Donald Trump's presidency, during COVID, Republicans and Democrats in a bipartisan way passed emergency COVID relief that was very expensive, Cruz admitted on Sunday. We're facing a pandemic. We had politicians who had shut much of the country down, and in that emergency, we acted. However, he recommended that Democrats sustained a spending binge in the subsequent years. Cruz said, and I quote, What happened subsequently is that you had, President, Biden and, Senate Majority Leader, Chuck Schumer, Democrat New York, and, former Speaker, Nancy Pelosi, Democrat California, do a complete takeover of the federal government and they went on a spending binge. Those IRS agents to harass the American people. And Joe Biden says it's extreme not to give them this army of IRS agents. Joe Biden wants to spend $30 billion that was appropriated for COVID funds. Now, Biden has declared the COVID emergency over, but he wants a $30 billion slush fund that hasn't been spent. I think what the House has done is very reasonable. And I'll tell you what Biden and the Democrats hate the most 
are work requirements for welfare. Listen, I believe if you're an able-bodied man, you ought to be working. And, and I think work requirements are one of the most compassionate things you can do because they get people back into the workforce, back supply, uh, uh, providing for their family. And Joe Biden is threatening to v veto the whole thing and, and default on the debt because he is so opposed to getting people back to work. Well, I mean, he, That's an extreme he, party. He voted for that at one point. He did. But there yeah. are the voices yes. in this party who now say it is cruel to take away that safety net from people who need something in their lives to protect them when the economy is struggling, which it clearly is. I want to make sure that we get to the 14th Amendment because you are a constitutional scholar. Yeah. I've seen you argue cases at the Supreme Court. You know this in and out. Today you heard what Peter Ducey just played, the president. That sounds by where he said, I think we have the authority to use it. Essentially, the president is looking at something that would allow him to go around Congress. He's not the only one. Uh, not surprisingly, somebody you disagree with quite a bit from time to time, your former Harvard law professor, Lawrence Tribe, talking to the Harvard Gazette, said this, once Congress has authorized the executive branch to spend money directed where and how it is to be spent and appropriated the money, there's no question, given Section 4 of the 14th Amendment, which says public debt has to be paid, that the federal government must somehow pay in full those to whom its promises have been made pursuant to the law. Your Democratic colleague, Bernie Sanders, among many others, signed on to a letter this week, including with our next guest. It said he said it's unambiguous. The president has. Please join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.